Hi, I'm Randy Kopka. I'm with the Kinemoto Application Support Group uh, here today to show you how to assemble the uh, Modbore Simultaneous Adjusting Blade Sets. Let's begin. When you first receive the blade set, you will notice as you take it out of the packaging, it is completely assembled. This blade set will not fit directly onto the bore body or the boring body unless it is completely taken apart first. So let's go through the disassembly. You will notice uh, there is the adjusting screw running through the center of both blades. There is only one uh, Allen hex on this screw. This side is blank. This is the left-handed threaded, or the left-hand threaded side uh, of that adjusting screw. So what we're going to do is start to unscrew or rotate the adjusting screw and you'll see the blades simultaneously moving apart. At this time we want to loosen the three adjusting screws or the three set screws on the centering ring of the adjusting screw. We want this temporarily to float. Continue removing the blades. Now at this time you'll notice the blade in my left hand is the one with left-handed threads. It is marked as such with two little dots. That's designating basically the left-handed blade. This blade, you'll notice there's one dot. This is designating this blade has right-handed threads. What we want to do at the moment is to make sure that this centering ring is actually within this raised area on the adjusting screw. So we put it in place and we want to tighten one of the three set screws on the adjusting screw. Taking the left-handed blade with left-handed threads, you want to just get the thread started, at least maybe a three-quarter to a full thread, just so it's able to stick out like that. Now, going to the body, you will notice there's a pin that sticks up here in the center of this slot. This centering ring has to fit down into this slot. So this pin has to be removed and it just unscrews. Once you remove it, it's actually no longer needed as long as you're using the simultaneous adjusting blade sets. Also at this time, we're going to remove the clamping bolts which will hold the blade set in place. Now for installation, you make sure the centering ring is located directly in that slot. You roll, slightly roll the blade set around until it snaps in place. It should be completely engaged with all of 
the serrations on the body as shown. Once this is in place, we'll use our right-handed blade, install it, making sure all serrations are engaged, top to bottom. You want to slide it inward until it stops against the right-handed threads of the adjusting screw. Then you start the rotation which will draw both blades towards each other. Okay, once the bl blades get very close to each other, at this time we want to loosen the one set screw that we previously tightened and continue until the both blades actually touch the centering ring. This is now at zero. Tighten that set screw back up. Rotating slightly to where you can tighten up the next one. You want to tighten up all three set screws that are located on the centering ring. Okay, now at this time, the blade sets are installed. We can now install the clamping bolts. Running them in just till they're just lightly snugged. Now the blade set at this time is assembled and ready to be adjusted to the proper uh, bore diameter that you require. Okay, to actually adjust the blade set uh, to your appropriate bore diameter needed, uh, you would loosen, there we go, you would actually loosen the two clamping bolts, making sure that the blades will move freely, adjust the blades out to the diameter that you require, preferably using uh, some sort of presetting equipment for accuracy. Then you snug or tighten the clamping bolts down and the unit is now ready to bore. If you have any questions concerning this product or any of our other metalworking tools, please contact us at the number listed. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.